I have to put out a warning about the content of this video because being in my head is not a good thing when it comes to research and not being satisfied with what I come across without asking even more questions which need to be researched as well. So welcome to my head, welcome to my rabbit holes that I go down when I'm looking for an answer, a clarification and welcome to a video where I try to make heads or tails of what is going on when we see Lelia Flava called Lelia Crispata or also called Catlia Flava and Catlia Crispata. A little bit of a geek moment here and welcome to the conclusion that I have for my first time blooming Rapiculus Lelia, Lelia Crispata or Catlia Crispata. Or do we have an imposter here? And that will be the last time I mention both Lelia and Catlia or else we're going to be here all day. So, the correct name is Catlia crispata synonym Lelia flava. Screenshots will show you the different sources, reputable sources, which have been so confusing to unravel, including from the repiculous Lelia guru Francisco Miranda, who, and I quote, demonstrated that the correct epithet for the yellow Lelia is crispata. But... He does not determine that this is actually Catlia crispata as per q.org. Instead, he refers to it as Lelia crispata. Which brings me to a question. Which Rapiculus Lelia is this? And feel free to interject at any time and leave me a comment as to your thoughts about this orchid and what you see in the video. Now, I hope that you will enjoy Pretty Yellow Blooms throughout while I go through the differences of my Lelias based on what I see, including the labeling these orchids came with when I placed the order. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're already having a great day. So the main focus on the screen is my first time bloomer, Lelia crispata, as she came labeled as such. And yes, the labeling of orchids we order online can be absolutely wrong. We only get that understanding when the orchid eventually blooms for us, which my supposed Lelia crispata has done for the first time, hence she will take center stage. Now, based on what I mentioned earlier, let me show you my Lelia flava. Remember that supposedly the Catlia crispata has a synonym which is Lelia flava. But look at my Lelia flava. This is the orchid as per the label I received her with and the description of the structures, the bloom clusters at the end of the very long spike matches everything I see online and matches my alleged Lelia crispata. However, there's one thing I cannot at this point agree with and that is on my patio, Lelia crispata looks like this while Lelia flava looks like this. There is a distinct difference in structure and leaf shape as well as the color of the structures and the leaves. Now you may have already drawn your conclusions and so have I. My supposed Lelia crispata is mislabeled and I will definitely not disagree with Francisco Miranda when it comes to the ID of the yellow Lelia being crispata synonym flava. However, that leaves me with the question, who are you? <laughs> And I have another question. If you know how to get in touch with Francisco Miranda, please let me know. I have sent him several emails over the years. Unfortunately, I could not get a hold of him. I would just love to pick his brain for a little bit. <laughs> so, my question is, check out what Catlia Orchid Source has when it comes to the identifying Lelia crispata. She is pink. The blooms are star-shaped, but the structure's description matches those of the orchid I'm featuring here. Broad base, tapered near the top and have a narrow leaf. I do not want to confuse you about the other name that Crispata is also called. <laughs> that is something we can address in a future video when my repestress blooms. <laughs> but if you look at the synonyms of this article, there is no mention of Lelia flava. Amalia flava, yes, but no Lelia. I find rabbit holes like this fascinating, but frustrating at the same time because there's no consistency across the board. I am satisfied, however, that I can call my Lelia flava Catlia crispata and have changed the tag accordingly. At least after three years, I'm able to draw that conclusion for what it's worth. <laughs> but... If you would indulge me for just a little bit longer, let's check out other Rapiculus Lelias I have based on their names, the shape of their blooms and their structures, all of which have bloomed yellow. And if maybe, just maybe, I have a double. Blooming darling yellow blooms with a very similar yellow color is the orchid labeled Lelia Briageri. Look how very, very similar the structures of these two orchids are. Twinsies much? The long spikes also checks out, but now have a look at the blooms. The Briageri has evenly spaced out petals and sepals, 
which are also more pointed at the end. By comparison, the supposed crispata blooms round off at the end. However, that is not all. Briagheri's lip is charming yellow and cutesy curling in character at the end, and it is much more pronounced than that of the supposed crispata lip. Even though both of them have a small touch of red deep in the throat, the difference is so marginal one could say they are one and the same. I am not convinced. Because one tiny difference, which in the world of Rupiculus Lelia's identification, or let's say differentiation, is huge, and that is the petals and sepals of the crispata imposter, they curl backwards. Not because the blooms have aged, but this happens within a couple of days of the bud's opening. Briageri petals and sepals do not do that throughout their entire lifespan. Now, here's another beautiful yellow Rupiculus Lelia. This is Lelia Esalkiana. The yellow is a tad more on the orange side if we are splitting hairs and being picky. It's a little bit more obvious when the bloom is in the sun. But while I only got this spike to bloom a single bloom, the spikes on these orchids do not bloom more than two, maybe three with an established Esalkiana. And the spike is much shorter because Asalkianas bloom during the summer months and check out her tiny structures. While green, with similar shaped pseudobulbs, the orchid is half the height of the supposed Crispata and Briageri. So, if you have made it this far, I appreciate you. <laughs> I know that videos like these are not the most popular. However, in the orchid hobby, we sometimes have to analyze what we have in our collection and compare that to the information we find online when researching orchids that we believe to have. So it would be super helpful if you would be so kind as to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That also helps tremendously, as well as sharing this video will help get more eyes on the confusions others may have with similar questions. And who knows, this video may just land in the lap of Francisco Miranda, who I welcome to add his insights into the comments, should we be so lucky for that to happen. In order to attempt to make sense of my rabbit hole ramblings and research over the years, what do I conclude? Mylalia crispata is mislabeled, Mylalia flava is Cattleya crispata, synonym Lelia flava, which will take some getting used to. <laughs> I believe my Briageri is correct, as is my Esalkiana. It feels as though the years leading up to my imposter Crispata blooming has still left some open holes to explore, but for now, I believe that I have managed to answer a question for myself, and perhaps for you, if you were looking to figure something similar out for yourself. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I shall now release you out of my head, out of the rabbit hole we found ourselves in. I'm going to wish you a fabulous day on the condition, though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.